there, Heather Boyd Wired here, and today I'm doing a video inspired by my visit to the Alexander Calder exhibition at the Musée de Beaux-Arts. Uh, now, Alexander Calder is known for his mobiles and his wire sculptures, but he also did a huge a variety of wire jewelry. And uh, so I'm going to do a piece that's a little wrapped pendant based on one of his pieces in the exhibition and also link up below uh, other photos of his work. So these are the pendants that I made based on Alexander Calder's pendants. And this one, the little loops are towards the inside. And then in the second design I made, the little loops are towards the outside. And I really prefer it this way. It's a lot more decorative. And to get started, you're going to need some 18 gauge wire. I'm using the artistic copper wire. And you're going to need some larger round pliers. Now I'll link up below where you could buy these larger round pliers. Actually, they sell them now that have little silicone around the outside so you won't scratch the wire. Uh, that's a new item that I just discovered not too long ago. So what you're going to do is just do a series of loops with the end of the round pliers and it's how many you need is going to depend on how much you space them apart and on how big your glass is. So you're going to just form it around your glass shape and if you find you need another loop you can another, add another loop just to go all the way around the glass and then what you're going to need is to bend one end up and then the other end you're just going to wind around to make it the right size to fit the glass in there. So you're going to wind it around and then that's going to be your setting for the glass. And at that point you're going to form a little loop at the top and that will be to hang your jump ring on. So it could be parallel to the pendant if you're going to add a jump ring and if you're going to put it directly on the cord just do it perpendicular. And then what you want to do to make the spiral, the decorative spiral, you're just going to cut the wire to about, say, five inches-ish, could be a little less. And then with your smaller round pliers, you're just going to form a loop at the beginning and then just help it along with the pliers a little bit. And then with the flat pliers, you're just going to kind of grip it and wind it around. Because the wire is a little thicker than my usual 20 gauge, You'll have to give it a little head start with the pliers. And then once it's, you've got it going, you can just finish it up with your fingers like that. And there's your spiral. Then lift it out of the way. And now you're going to put a 22 gauge wire in the bottom loop. And then just give it a little clip. And then what you want to do is string it into, you could skip one loop at the bottom in the middle there. It's not really necessary to loop the wire through. So you're going to actually just kind of sew it, weave it through those little loops. And once you've done a couple at the bottom, insert your glass and fit it around like that. And then take the end of your wire, once it's all fitted around how you like, and just start stringing it through the loops. You're just kind of, and flip it over and just kind of sew it through like that. And I'm just going to hold it towards the front, but you can tell I'm looping it to the front and back. So you're going to go all the way up, back and forth, going through each loop one time until you've got all the way to the top and pulling it nice and firmly as you go. You don't want it too uh, loose. And then once you've got it to the top, how you like it, you'll put it in your last loop and then you just want to wind it around and clip the end like that. And then once you've got it in there, you push your spiral down, fit it in place, do any little last minute adjustments, push it up a little bit if you want, and flatten it out a bit, and there you have your pendant. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry videos. If you're not already a member of my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, please join the club and share photos of your creations. And if you're not on Facebook, no worries. You can email me photos to info at heatherboydwire.com and I'll share them in the community page. 
And if you'd like to check out our wire art and jewelry and wedding cake toppers on Etsy, I'm going to link up my Etsy shop below. And if you'd just like to support my work on Patreon, I would super appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.